about positive and negative integers. Numbers that are both positive and negative. So far you've probably been dealing with mostly positive numbers in your math career. Problems that look like this. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Well both of those numbers are positive. Or say 4 minus 2. That answer is 2. You have a positive 4 and a positive 2 and one number is being taken away from the other number. But today we're going to learn to use negative numbers, have negative numbers in the problems, and even negative numbers in the answers. So let's start with the simplest kind of problem. And I've got a really cool trick to show you, but uh, let me show you some simple problems first. Let's start off with, say, a positive 3 plus a positive 4. Most of the time what they're going to do is put some parentheses holding in this positive 4 here and separating these two signs from each other. But this is just a simple problem like what you have been doing for many, many years. And so a uh, <coughs> positive 3 plus a positive 4 is simply a positive 7. 3 plus 4 is 7. Now what I want you to learn to do with, with problems like this is to go ahead and get rid of any plus signs you see. Just scribble those out. So what we really have is a 3 and a 4 and 3 and a 4 together makes 7. Now that's pretty obvious. Let's go to something a little bit more complicated. Let's take the problem positive 3 plus a negative 2. What is that equal to? Well again, let's get rid of the positive signs. I want those gone. And then circle what you have left. And we can use the parentheses there as part of our circle. So we have a positive 3. When there's no sign before the number, that means it's a positive number. If it's just sitting all by itself, like back in the old days. And uh, if we have a negative sign before the number, what the sign is before the number is what determines what that number is. So this is a negative 2, or I like to call it two negatives. Now we're going to consider the positives to be dogs. And the negatives we're going to call cats. And as most of you know, dogs like to chase cats. And so when you see a dog and a cat in the same problem together, that dog is going to chase that cat, and they're going to run off right out of the problem. They're not even, they're not even going to be part of our solution anymore. So here we have three dogs. I'm going to put three Ds here for the dogs. And two cats. I'm going to put two cats there. The Cs representing the cats. Now we have a dog here and a cat here. Well, this dog can chase that cat right out of the picture. So it's not part of our problem anymore, that dog and that cat. And then we have this dog here that can chase this cat right out of the picture. And so what we're left with is one dog by the time we're finished having these dogs chase the cats out of here. And so dogs, of course, are positive numbers. So we answer, our answer is a positive 1. It's that simple. So 3 minus 2, of course, is 1. And you can see that that makes sense from what you've learned even from first grade on, that 3 minus 2 is 1. It just started off looking like a more complicated problem because we had those extra plus symbols in there. What about subtracting positive and negative integers? That gets a little bit more complicated, but using this method, it should be pretty easy for you to find the answer. Let's start with the simplest of problems. Uh, you've been doing these, I'm sure, quite a, quite a while with good accuracy. And so we don't have any plus symbols at all in there, so all we have to do is circle on this problem. We have six positives, six dogs, and of course you already know what the answer is, but let's take a look at the method. And then we have three cats, so we can get rid of three dogs, three cats, and we're left with three extra dogs, so the answer is three, or a positive three. Remember that plus sign is optional, you don't have to write it on your numbers when they're positive. Okay, now we'll get to a little bit more complicated problem. Just a lot like the last one, but let's say we have negative 6 minus 3. There's no plus symbols that you see here, so all we have to do is circle the numbers with the signs that come before them. So we have 6 negatives and 3 negatives. We got 6 cats and 3 cats. And when you put six cats with three cats, you end up with nine cats. So the answer is negative nine. <clears throat> now this, these are the kind of problems that throw some kids off. But I've got a little trick to show you in this. What if we have 
2 minus a negative 5. Well, the trick here is that we have two negative symbols right next to each other. And we're going to take this line and this line, and we're going to combine them together. So this line here is going to go boop, 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 boop. It's going to drop into here and make this a plus. So that's gone because I just used it to make this a plus sign. And because I have a plus sign, I don't want any plus signs in my problem. So I simply scribble that out. And I scribble out the plus sign over here. So what I'm left with is 2 and 5. So I have 2 dogs here, 5 dogs here, making a total of 7 dogs. So the answer to the problem is plus 7, positive 7, 7 dogs. So again, notice what I did as I, I have two minus symbols in the middle of a problem. I'm going to combine those together to make one plus symbol. And of course, when you have a plus symbol, basically it just disappears out of the problem altogether. Let's try another one like that. What if I have negative 8 minus negative 1? Okay, this minus symbol along with this minus symbol, they can combine together. I can move this one over into this direction if I want to. I can scribble that out, drop that into here. So I've got the one negative symbol here and the other negative symbol right there. And now I have a positive symbol. So that symbol is gone. I can't scribble out the negative symbol over here. So I circle that to make eight negatives, one positive. So I've got eight cats. There's eight cats, and I've got one. Now there's no symbol before that because it's scribbled out, so I've got one dog. This dog and this cat are going to run off, so I'm left with two, four, six, seven cats left, or a negative seven is my answer. So simple using this method. All right, let's just try a couple more. What if I have positive nine minus a negative four? Again, minus a negative. The negative sign can come down into here and get rid of that. And now these two negatives that became a positive, I don't want any positive signs in my problem. Let's get rid of both of the positives. And so I have a 9 here and a 4 here. Neither one of them have any signs before them, which means that they're positive. And so I have 9, I'm sure most of you know the answer before I even do it here, 9 dogs there. And over here I've got 4 dogs. And if I have nine dogs and four dogs, when I put those together, of course, I've got 13 dogs, or positive 13. Okay, let's just try one last problem to make sure you've got it. Negative three minus negative seven. That's a lot of minus signs. Usually they're gonna have parentheses around those. So again, let's take one of these minus signs, one of these negative symbols, and move it over to Combine them together to make a positive sign. Now that I have a positive sign, I get rid of that. So I've got three negatives here. I've got seven positives there. So the three negatives are three cats. The seven positives are seven dogs. And these three cats are going to run off with these three dogs. So I've got four dogs left, or positive four. And there you have it, a real simple way add and subtract positive and negative integers. I wish you the best.